Now, you may have heard of ChatGPT. Two weeks ago, a new artificial intelligence program called ChatGPT made its debut online. ChatGPT and has even passed law exams. ChatGPT. Maybe you've heard of it. If you haven't, then get ready, because this promises to be the viral sensation that could completely reset how we do things. ChatGPT was released around three months ago and it has been adopted like crazy. I would say that ChatGPT is probably one of the most generation defining products, kind of like Microsoft Windows and Google Search. And the AI scene since its release has absolutely gone apeshit. OpenAI, the makers of ChatGPT, have gone on and released GPT-4, which is their latest generative pre-trained transformer model and that they will be using as the baseline of chat GPT in the near future and literally you know people thought chat GPT was great but now they're gonna have chat GPT powered by GPT-4 which is literally like AI on steroids that's gonna be insane. If you have been a subscriber to my channel, you probably have noticed that I haven't really been posting any videos in the past few months. And that is because I've been taking the time to really understand the AI scene and also what kind of cool stuff you can now build with these pre-made models. I know that a lot of you folk who watch my videos are in school or are students at university. And I've discovered five amazing things that you can do with ChatGPT to really help you in your studies. First one is that ChatGPT can actually generate exam questions for you. So you know sometimes when you're going through past papers and maybe there's like not enough past papers to go off, you can literally ask ChatGPT to generate questions that are similar to the questions on maybe some of the other past papers you have. But in effect, you basically have an endless supply of exam style questions and past papers that you can practice on. I do wanna emphasize that the more basic the education level that you are trying to generate exam questions for, the better the exam questions will be compared to say if you're a mass student in aerospace engineering, the exam questions are probably not going to be great that the AI is able to generate. So that's just something to bear in mind. Great. So now you have all these amazing exam questions that ChatGPT has created for you. But how do you know whether or not your answers are correct? Well, ChatGPT can also generate mark schemes for these questions and potentially generate mark schemes for questions that you might not have the answer or mark scheme for. So this is a great way to basically make sure the work that you've done is actually actually correct by checking it against the mark scheme generated by the AI. When I was at university, it was actually quite often that some lecturers were reluctant to give you the answer sheet for some of the questions that they give you in these like, you know, tutorial sheets or question sheet. And it's kind of annoying because when you do the question, you're like, I wish I'd know if this is the right answer or if I'm going along the right lines. And you know, you might be able to generate like a, a rough sort of answer sheet or like a, at least a guide on how to answer the question by uploading that question to ChatGPT. Another thing that you can do with ChatGPT, kind of similar to generating a mark scheme, is actually ask it to help you understand how to solve a particular exam question or a particular topic in your subject that you're studying. So say, for example, you don't understand like a certain concept in say physics GCSE, then you can just ask it saying, hey, can you explain me this? And if you don't understand certain bits of what ChatGPT has responded with, you can prompt it further to try and help you really understand what it's trying to explain. And effect, you're basically getting a free personal tutor because not only, well, you don't have to pay for the basic level of chat GPT, but this tutor is on, on demand whenever you need them. And you can literally ask it any questions. You can go into depth as much as you want and you can ask it as many times as you want. Great, so a lot of the stuff I've talked about have seemingly been very sort of like science-y and STEM-based style subjects and questions that you ask. But you can also converse with ChatGPT in different languages. So say if you are learning like Spanish or French or something like that, you can just talk to it in that language and try and in improve your ability to read and understand a different language. Say if you're studying Spanish GCSE or you know you're doing like French A levels or something like that. Or maybe you just want to learn a language, you know, outside of school. Maybe you're you're working as a professional and you want to learn a different language. It could be very beneficial just to have like you know daily conversations to chat GPT in the language whichever that you are studying. A lot of people say that you learn a language much better when you're just talking to people who do speak that language. And I guess not everyone has the luxury to have the 
random Spanish friend that they can talk to in Spanish about if they're learning Spanish. So ChatGPT is a great replacement for that. And in essence, you can even ask it to explain to you what it's saying in English or whatever your, you know, your most used to language is. And this way you're able to learn your A language much quicker than you would just by reading a textbook or something like that. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you probably know that I'm a software engineer and ChatGPT can actually help you out in trying to become better at those technical interviews. One of the things I personally find challenging sometimes is to really understand the big O notation when it comes to the space and time complexity of a function. And ChatGPT, I discovered, is really helpful in trying to help you understand you know, how to derive the space complexity and time complexity of a function that you have written. This is going to help you develop your skills in, in understanding how to calculate these properties of a function. So there are some of the five things that you can do with ChatGPT to really help you excel in your studies, whether it be whether you're studying like a language topic or a STEM topic or to be fair, anything really. Hopefully this helps you out in improving your study routine and makes you a more efficient studier or someone who's trying to learn something or whatever you call them people. Student is the word. How did I not understand how to say student? A lot of schools have been banning chat GPT and I think this is a real shame because yes, students are very easily going to, you know, write a whole essay in chat GPT. But I think it's important to know how to use chat GPT responsibly so that you don't detrimize your studies and your learnings because the important thing is that if you use ChatGPT for everything without thinking about how it's generating its answers, then you're not really going to learn anything. But I think ChatGPT is a really powerful tool for students to use in, in general to really understand and have that personalized tailored tuition, which you cannot really get from anything else. If you are currently a student and you are wanting to use ChatGPT, I just want to make sure you're aware that it's important for you to really understand how ChatGPT generates its answers and so I would strongly suggest that whenever you ask ChatGPT a question and it doesn't provide you with um, an explanation of how it arrived to that certain answer, prompt it by asking it, so how did you get to this answer? And really do take the time to understand and learn how it has derived to that answer so that next time you can solve the question yourself. Because ultimately, you know, it's great that we have ChatGPT, but if you really want to be a valuable member in society in the future, you should be able to know how to do certain things from your own knowledge and not rely on ChatGPT because after all, ChatGPT is only based on knowledge that we've generated over years and years of work. So if we're going to end up having ChatGPT learn on stuff that ChatGPT has made, then are we not just feeding crap back into the machine that will then spit out more crap? There's some food for thought. So if you enjoy this video, consider subscribing, hitting the like button and comment down below if you used ChatGPT and if you've got any other cool nifty tricks for students to use ChatGPT.